I was bad. I totally shouldn't have gone out and gotten more lipstick, um, but I had to. I just had to because I, I absolutely love the Wet n Wild Mega Last lip colors. Like, I, I'm obsessed. So it's going to be my goal to get like all of the colors, even the really dark one. I think it's called Vamp It Up. It's like almost like a purple black color. I, I mean, honestly, I think that would be perfect for like Halloween or 1920s looks. So um, I'm honestly going to get all the lipsticks. It's my goal. So um, I got three more colors and I got a bunch of the fast dry nail colors as well. And I think I memorized the names of these um, because all they have is the numbers on the bottom. Um, they need to put the, the name of the lipstick on the bottom, in my opinion, but I like to have names to my lipsticks. They're my little friends, and um, the name helps me kind of pick what outfit I want to wear them with. You know what I mean? Um, it helps me get into the mood of what color I want to use. Um, I got three shades. I got two nudie shades, and I got one um, My Lips But Better color. The only light pink color I have in my collection is Run Runaway Pink from ELF Mineral Line, and that one applies a little bit streaky for me um, on my pigmented lips, so I was hoping that this one would apply opaque, and it does. Um, it is almost too opaque, like it is so pink, so I think, um, I think the way I'm going to wear this one is with um, my 2-in-1 conditioning lip gloss from ELF. Um, I think it'll make it a little bit more wearable for me since it is a matte color. And I think mattes look so nice when they're like a deeper color, but sometimes it makes your lips look a little patchy when they're a really light color. So I'll show you a swatch. It's very pretty color though, and I'm willing to make it work. You can see that there? Very nice. That'll be good when I have a smoky eye or something or just want to do a really simple pretty look. The favorite color out of the, the three that I got is Just Peachy, and it is 903C, and it is what I'm, I'm wearing on my lips right now, and I'm wearing it with a little bit of that lip gloss like I explained. Um, it really makes it so much more wearable and pretty, you can see that. My old favorite nude color was Pumpkin Pie by NYX, but I think that one is almost a little bit too brownish orange to me. Um, this is just a light pinky orange, so I think that's why I think it's a little bit more wearable, for me anyway. Um, yeah, I'll swatch that for you. Look how pretty that is. It's what I have on my lips, and it shows really true on my lips as well. And this one I see myself wearing a lot. Um, it reminds me a lot of NYX's Herodies, um, which I showed in my Elizabeth Taylor video. Um, it is a little bit pinker than that one. But if you're looking for a good dupe of that, check this shade out. It's called In the Flesh. And see, it's a little bit more pink and a little bit more brown than that one. But on the lips, it looks pretty close to that color. So um, another My Lips But Better kind of color. Um, and this is this would also be a good one if you are trying to wear darker lipsticks, but you want to do it gradually. You don't want to overpower yourself. Um, this is a good medium kind of color, so it can get you into the darker colors if you want. Stores around here don't carry all of the shades, which sucks, so, oh well. Um, on to the nail polishes, got from Walgreens. They don't have the fast dry polishes at my CPS, so um, I went into Walgreens to see if they had any more of the lipsticks, and they didn't really, but they had a bunch of the fast dry nail polishes, which I'd been looking for, so I'm very excited about that, and I'm going to get into it and share it with you guys. This is the one I'm wearing on my nails right now, actually. I know I need to touch up my manicure, but it's so pretty. I don't have very many greens in my collection and I just thought this was such a neat color. It is Sagrina the Teenage Witch and that's the cool thing about these polishes. They're named after um, TV shows and stuff like that so it's kinda cute. My first impression of this, um, it is a little a little watery um, but honestly it, it, it dried pretty, pretty quickly so it wasn't an issue. Um, I did three coats just to make sure it would stay on my nails really well and be super opaque but you could get away with two. Um, the only reason I complain a little bit is since it is runny, um, it kind of gets caught in the side of your nails a little bit and it kind of, you know, it makes it hard to have a nice clean manicure. But um, I think if you just if you just kind of clean off your brush a little bit, like if you clean it on the side like that and just have a little bit at a time, that's the best way to apply these. But I'm not, I'm seriously not going to complain. These are $1.99 
and um, they come in so many really fun colors and the formula is good it dries pretty quickly and I mean the color is just stunning I love it so that's Sagrina the Teenage Witch I don't have any yellow so I'm so excited to pick this one up this is the Wonder Yellows and I love the Wonder Years it's like one of my favorite shows ever so of course I had to get this one um, it's a pretty metallic -y yellow so I'll, I'll let you know how opaque that goes on but I've seen it swatched online and it looks like it actually does apply pretty opaquely and it doesn't get streaky like a lot of yellows do that I've seen this one is the one I was most excited about um, but I swatched it on my nails and it was a little sheer for me um, it is Grey's Anatomy and as you can see it's got like a duochrome in it like green purple pink in a gray base it looks a little bit like that hard candy polish. I don't know what it's called. I'll insert that somewhere in here. Um, but it doesn't show very opaque. It's a more sheer color. So I'm going to try layering this on top of deeper colors. Like I think it might look pretty on top of this color. So I'll let you know how that looks. Um, or maybe I can just test it out right now and just show you. I don't really care. Well, that is kind of pretty on top of the screen, actually. So maybe that's the trick. Maybe apply this on top of a darker color. But that's what it ends up looking like on top of that green. See, that? that's pretty. So I think that's the trick to this color. Use it as a layering polish. Um, I'll let you know how it works with, with like three coats or even four coats. I'll let you know if it gets opaque or not. But um, as a layering polish, that is really pretty. I had to get this one because of the name. Um, it is Buffy the Violet Slayer. Oh my gosh, I love that show. Um, so of course I had to get that, and the color is just gorgeous. It's a metallic purple with, I think it has a little bit of pink micro glitter in there or something. So that one's really pretty. That one's um, Buffy the Vi Violet Slayer. That's the second round of my Wet n Wild haul. Um, I'll probably take a little break on the makeup buying because I have an e.l.f. haul coming in the mail too. Um, yeah, I need to cool it on my makeup, but I needed to get some stuff for spring, you know, I have to, since I can't spend a lot on clothing, I like to update my makeup so I can be fresh for spring. So I hope you guys liked it and let me know if you have any questions about anything and if you have any favorite um, colors from the Mega Last line that I should check out.